Good afternoon. It's Donnie. At least it's afternoon for me. This is Donnie from Diamond Painting by Donnie. And I have another unboxing. This one also came in on 9-11. And it says on the box, number one, quantity two, um, Diamond Painting Custom 100 times two. So I'm not sure if this is my very large one or what, because I never understand what they say on those, what those meaning is. Uh, so I, you know, I'm trying to get down my greeting because I just never know how to start my videos. All right, here's a box that um, I think, yeah, I've seen this one before. It was AZQSD that had the box that looks like this. So the one that has the 447, I remember these symbols over here. It says shiny diamond, smooth cutting, strong glue, 447 DMC fashion color. So if that's the case, let's flip it to the right pages, but maybe not. I'm not sure now. Well, let me open it and find out. Oh, there's tape. Get that tape. Yeah, there are two diamond paintings in here. Okay, I think this is the one that is from Evershine. No, it's who can. <laughs> Weird. I think that's who can. Okay, I'm just gonna have to look and find out because now I don't think it's who can because who can does not send in these boxes. Give me a moment and I'll be right back. Okay, these are from who can. Hence the who can covering. They put it in a different box. That was strange. Their toolkit was different than normal, so that's what threw me off. This one does not have the normal scissors, tweezers. What I don't know, maybe they ran out. But everything else is hula can style tool set. It's got everything else that they normally put in there, just the tweezers are different. But I did these as customs. They were $7 each. They're both 40 by 50. This was the sale, so it was a really good price. Seven bucks for a 40 by 50. This is what spoils me on spending um, more money, higher prices on diamond paintings. And I don't know how I feel about that. I love not having to spend very much, but then I've also noticed that, I mean, they do, they make the effort. And I don't think I'm going to have an issue with these because this is a round. These are both round. I ordered both these full rounds. So um, I'm not going to have the issue with the large drills, I don't think. I'm hoping not. Um, if I had a million hours in a day, I would, I would be more than happy to just pull, you know, whip one out and test them right away. But I've got so much on my plate, I just can't get everything completed in the time that I really would like to. So I'm going to call this a really good deal. And I'm going to say that, you know, granted that the, all the drills are there and the canvases look good, that this is one of the best deals that I've gotten because they were only $7 and you know, 40 by 50 is my sweet spot. So I ordered these August 27th. The strange thing is, is I have a couple more from Hua Can that I ordered August 15th that I still have not received. So I don't know what happened with those. I don't know if they're in these, any of the ones that are in the pile that I have over here. I think the one that I have next to me is also from them. Um, actually, let me double check it so that I can do it all in this one video if that is the case, so that I'm not having to make a separate video for a package that could have been with this one. So hold on. 
Okay, I do have two other packages coming from Hua Can, and it looks like that's what these other two are. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you all these canvases really quick, and I will op open the other packages as well in this video, and I'm going to move through the uh, drill counts as quick as I can. Fast forward them because if not, this video is going to last an hour. Okay, well, first of all, let me show you what this one is here. This one. Now, I had it to the right page, and then I lost it because I was flipping through looking for other stuff. But here we go. Okay, this is this one. I found this on another shop, and... I loved it, but it was so expensive, and I was waiting for a good sale so that I could get this at a good price in a good size. It's a steampunk girl, but it's so pretty, and it's out there on AliExpress. I just, I just needed to have this. But I ordered this one on August 27th, and it arrived on 9-11. And it was $7 for a 40 by 50. And so that's um, 15 days. These are all from the sale. And this has 40 colors in it. All right. So it seems like Hua Can, they either will, they'll try to get the max 50 colors. That's the most I've ever seen is 50 colors on their customs. And, uh, Lost my place. Oh well, I'll figure it out. And uh, most of the time you do get, on the bigger ones you'll get the 50 colors. And on the little bit smaller, they'll they'll go 40 colors. But they don't, um, they don't chintz out on the colors is what I'm trying to say. Symbols are their normal symbols. That's weird, this one they actually put the color, I don't remember it being like this, where they have the color square here and then the symbol here normally they have the symbol and the color together so yeah it looks like they've changed things up a little bit and then they have the dmc in the quantity yeah Let's just look at the canvas the drills i will i you know i think i'll just check the drills um later I, i'll just kind of show you the colors this one goes to this one yeah this one goes to this one so if it's around it will say sy on it on the label here but this is the the canvas number this is 40 by 50 centimeters and the 40 is the color how many colors are in it and they have them all in resealable baggies and I don't see anything loose going on here, so we'll see how that goes. Same with this one. With the other one, um, yep. I just checked to make sure their numbers match. Okay. Again, we have the million sections. This one has four sections. It is on a foam roller. This was rolled really tight. Let's see if we can get the face. It almost looks like it's it's like well I mean there's a lot of dark colors in this this um what I chose but it looks very pale. Here you can see it's got that plasticky smell.
but there's rivers, but I don't see any kind of uh, bubbles or anything. Maybe they did it this way. Oh, maybe because it's a round, that's why they do it like this. I'm, I'm not used to seeing rounds. This is the largest round now. But the symbols are clear. I can, I can see them very well. It helps when there's color behind them. Um, so it may be a little difficult on my eyes because I like to, I can, I like to see the difference in the symbols by the colors. And for this reason, I may just stick to square customs. This is my first time ever doing a round custom. Now the, the glue is not exactly met up right here on this line. It's kind of folded over here on the top of the edge. That's fine as long as it doesn't go into the painting. And the gap is so tiny, I'm, I don't think it's going to affect it. We'll only know when I actually go to do it. Wait a minute, is that a bubble? Can't tell. Yeah, it's it bubbled a little bit. It's when they're rolled so tight on those rollers. If somebody, if it's not, yeah, it bubbled up. If if they don't let this glue settle down before rolling it, I find that it it, it tightens. It rolls really tight, and it tends to bubble. So let me get this flattened so I can put these back down. I need a, I, need, I really need a light above my door so people know when I'm recording. So let me check the other side before this thing gets away from me. There we go. And of course I get the last one on crooked. So the next one is also the same order date. Of course they came in the same box, but that doesn't always mean that it's the same order date. It was uh, August 27th and but they didn't ship until August 31st. I don't know if I said that, but yeah. I, I found that Huacan does not ever ship immediately, especially on customs. That's never to be expected. Oh, the corner of it ripped off. So here's the bottom half of her face. She's got this little owl in her hand too. He's over here. See the owl? I think it's pretty cool. I like the steampunk type um, images. All right, so let's move on to the next one. It's also uh, round, like I showed you on the drills. Okay, these, this bottom one is overlapped. So that's kind of why it didn't go down very easily. There we go. All right. So now I know why they do this this is a round they have the the color next to the symbol and there's not a lot of color in this but the color that is there is those beautiful blues all right and here is hold on okay so this other one is the companion to my first masquerade that i had um the masquerade uh, woman that I did 
a custom for not too long ago that I got. I got that one though from, um, I didn't do a custom actually, no. I got it off of uh, Evershine. But this one I did as a custom. And it has 40 colors as well. I don't know what's going on with all these that are, they're getting rolled so tightly that they are bubbling. I don't, I, I don't understand because it, this didn't used to happen where they would bubble when you unrolled it. Because see, they didn't used to do this. They used to be just fine. doesn't seem to have caused a bubble so that's good let's just pull it down so we can look at it yeah I, I'm not liking the uh, lack of color in the round because I don't I don't get this in square when, when I get a square diamond painting you don't I don't know, maybe it's because they use a lot more um, symbolage for the rounds. I mean, there is color behind it to fill in the gaps for the round, but it just makes it hard because all the symbols are white. And that's what my issue is. Just my own personal issue with my, the way I see things. And... This also has an issue with the crease. Uh, it's coming up um, right here where it, the two pieces of adhesive meet. I don't know why it has to be so complicated to lay these down, but I can see, I mean, if they would just do it in strips of two, I mean, I can, cut, I can cut my own cover. Anybody can cut their own cover. They don't have to have these strips. I mean, maybe they think that they're doing um, doing us a favor. I don't know, but some people may like them. I just find that it, it, has, it leaves for more issues. Maybe they have, because they make their own cover paper, make, maybe they have a better, get a better price when they do it in smaller strips. I don't know. But if that's the case and that's how they're able to get the prices to us cheaper, you know, great. But, but then maybe step up your, the training on people on how to lay them without causing bubbles. I mean, I'm, I don't want to sound like a complainer. I'm just, I have so much problems with these strips. Um where they don't, they're not laying them down. At first I didn't have issues, but now I'm starting to see, cause like the glue is here. You can see the drill filled while you're at it. But if you can see right here where it, it's coming up and that is right on the drill filled because it's a, like a chunk because it's folded under itself. I'm going to have to take some tweezers and fix that. But when they don't meet the uh, edge of the other one, then, you know, it causes gaps. And that can cause issue if left too long without get putting the drills down. You're going to have issues with dust and possibly not having it adhere when you go to do the drill damage painting. The previous one I just did, my daughter came in here and said she wants to do it. So she's got a couple now of mine that she wants to do. But I told her to make sure she right, takes notes. And that way I can see. So I can show the final product when it's done. And But the, these rounds from Huacan, the steampunk girl, she wants to do it. 
So I will hopefully have that one done sooner than later. Now she's she's like shopping in my um, inventory book. She's going shopping to see which one she wants. <laughs> Sometimes I tell her, no, 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 no. I want to do it. I want to do that particular one. But I mean, I'm not... I'm not going to sit here and keep them all to myself. I know I have way too many. A lot of the time it's because um, I want to try a new company. And you know, like I said in the previous video, I pick one that I know I'm going to enjoy because if I'm going to have it, you know, why not have it be something that I like? And then I, I end up wanting to do it and then... Yeah, so here's the next package. Let me pull this up on my, uh, I don't know which one it is yet, so <laughs> let me open it. I'm pretty sure this is the one that I've been waiting the longest for, but let's open it first and then we'll find out. I have a bookmark set to it, so I'll just flip there and then see if that's it. I'm hoping. Yeah, it looks like who can change their box. Yeah. And, and like I've said before, Evershine, AZQSD, um, and eBuy, they're all who can uh, companies. They get their stuff from who can. But they're not necessarily... I've been told Hook Hand's a brand. So I don't know how that works. When you buy something from Hook Hand itself, if it's a different um, facility, I don't I don't know how that works. Just like you see a bunch of Zooey Star boxes and you see a bunch of Angel Hand boxes, but they say a different company. I'm really not sure how that works. I do know, though, that this same box, my um, AZQSD paintings came in this box. Yes, this is the one I've been waiting for the longest. And I'm going to hold my breath because they're supposed to have my missing drills in here. Oh, they actually sent a, a bracelet. Haven't seen one of these in a long time. Amour, which means love. Oh, I see them. With a bunch of garbage. I'm... I'm lucky because this bot, this opening was broken. That's what this stuff right here is. But this is the order I placed because I wanted to make sure I the diamonds that I was missing for my um, the custom that I'm doing of my mom, the ones where the drills were too big. Uh, they've sent me a replacement bag because there was eleven over eleven thousand of them. And so they sent me a bag of 12,000. Yeah, for a minute I thought it was the wrong color, but this, yeah, the color is 823. I was thinking it was 959 for a minute. I'm like, oh no, but no. And then there was another color I ran out of. Um, so they just sent me 3,000 of them. I, it was a really small amount that I needed for that color, but they just threw in 3,000. That was very nice. Uh, Toolkits. They actually have the hula can tweezers in this one, but not this one. So that just leads me to believe they, they ran out. All right. So these are both these. Neither of these are customs. Um, this is one of them. I paid 1656 for it. It's a 50 by 50 ordered it August 15th. It shipped August 19th. And it's a full round. So that's this one. And so it came in on 9-11. So that took uh, 16, 20, 27 days. Almost four weeks. Don't know why. But it's got 45 colors. And this is what it looks like right here. 
Isn't that a stunning looking dragon? I mean, I, I think you have to appreciate dragons to see what I see in dragons. I just think they're beautiful. And the wings are just, oh, I don't know. I can't explain the love I have for dragons. I mean, just the look of dragons. I'm sure if they were real and out in the world, I would hate them. But they aren't. And it looks like, you know, this dragon is protecting the city under a bubble. So, I don't know. That just gives me a sense of security seeing that. And, let's see. 20383. Yep, that's this. Lots and lots of blacks. It says that there are hmm, only 1,885 black, 310. So it's a mixture of different colors. Um, it's not just like a majority of one color. There's like 5,000 of 930, 4,000 of 939, 3,000 of 3799. So, you know, it's it's a big mixture of dark colors and I have square beads falling out from here I believe I'll just set that to the side and figure it out and then this is to the other painting you can see the blues this is why I ordered the this painting I'll show you in a second because of all these blues and well, it's blues and grays. The picture looks better than what the drills look like here. Okay, so that I'll show you the picture on that. That's this. I just love the blue, the blue trees, the water, the flowers, the house. It just and I paid fourteen fifty six for this one. It's a 40 by 50 and it's full square. And I have a note here that the uh, 11,000 of 823 should come with it as well as 3072. And that's what they are. 3072 and 823. Alright, so let's get to looking at these canvases. This is the big one first, the 50 by 50. The 50 by 40 has 36 colors. And I already said this has 45. And I did just indent the cover a little bit with my scissors. Let me move this canvas. One second, I need a drink really thirsty. Sorry, I'm drinking out of a water bottle. And yes, it's water, not gin. <laughs> I don't drink, so. You know, I, I will drink once in a blue moon. Like, if people come over here to have, you know, a New Year's party... One time, my birthday, we, my daughter and her boyfriend came over, and you know the kid, kids were able to get to go to sleep here at the house, so it was no big deal. I think it was when they they no they didn't live with me on my birthday, but this one actually looks a lot better. As you can see, um, it's not doing that puckering thing as I'm unrolling it, like the first two did. Even though this has been in the mail a lot longer, somebody put this on way better. That's definitely something that's going on with the placement, because this is around as well, and this it, so it has nothing to do with the fact that it was around. I have no idea if they have special people doing rounds or what, but it it must have something to do with who's placing the part the paper, because I mean. This being in shipment longer, it's laying flat already without me having to remove the uh, cover. So I don't know what's going on. But 
I hope somebody from Hula Can watches these and maybe learns some of the things that people are seeing and maybe adjusts something. Here's the drill filled. Again, it's the, the symbols are all white background with black print, so it's going to be hard on my eyes. Uh, it's not a custom, so that's that might be the difference between these and the last two. Those were customs. These are not. This is not. Let me just pull back half of it. It still has that same issue with uh, the crease having... Um, you can actually see the crease from the camera view. And it's like the edges of the glue just aren't laying down properly. And this one, the paper down here is overlapping this one. So I'm hoping the glue isn't affected by that. It is. Yeah, this is the original issue that um, Ashley had from uh, Diamond Mama with this company. Yeah, this entire strip right here, it's lifted where the uh, crease, where the, where the two pieces meet. So as long as it doesn't affect my drill placement and the diamonds sticking to it, then it's fine. Um, I might need to rub, rub it down with something, but it's really hard to see the image on these rounds because of the fact that there's very little color. But this is half, the half that you can see the dragon's wing and the dome right here. His tail comes around here. So let's uh, check out that other side. <sighs> All right. harder to manage because I'm like reaching really far on these larger it's amazing the difference between a 50 by 40 and a 50 by 50 the 50 by 50 seems so much bigger uh, all right. there we go now you can see the dragon's head right there kind of looks like a triceratops But the glue surface looks good. I don't see bubbles. It's just the creasing where the strips meet. All right. Ready to see what's next? One more package. Oh wait, I forgot. There's still one more from this one. The little blue house. I'm kind of excited to see what's in the other package. I think I know because I've only got one more package coming from Huacan. But it's just strange how this one took so long to get here. Compared to, you know, 15 days on the other one. I think it's so it took an extra, uh, what, what did I say, 16 plus 11. So 20, 27 days. And the other one was so it took an extra 12 days, almost two weeks. Um, almost took extra two weeks to get here. So I don't know what happened with that. Uh, so 45 colors on that. Let me write that down. Oh. oh, the other one. This one is 36 colors. All right, so let's take a look at it. My little blue house. The house itself really doesn't have much blue in it. It's just a lot of blue highlights in the trees and stuff. Oy. I gotta turn my fan on, it's getting really hot. Pardon the noise. Uh, 
All right, one more tape to cut. That time I did not nick the cover. All right, so this one's a square, and so it the symbols have the color behind it. I don't know why they do that. Oh, I do know. It's because the round. Actually, I don't know. Really don't. Oh, it's so that the round, the color in the background can show through. So they only put the color, it seems, in the, yep, that's what they do. They only put the color in the background of it so it will come through. And they don't put the color on the actual spot where the drill goes. But with square, they go over the entire spot, so they have to do the full color. I'm going to pull this off before I unroll it, so hopefully it won't bubble. All right, so you can see color there. Lots of color. Look at the drill filled. Whoa. Holy confetti. But it's going to be beautiful. Definitely. But very clear, very clear symbols. Drill filled is very clear. I just wish they had, they would send inventory papers so I don't have to go use my canvas to make a copy. It is really hard sometimes to get some of these canvases onto the copier. And this has another one of those problems with the adhesive being, oh, and there is a big pucker there. There we go. See the puckers? Oh my gosh. There's several of them. Just in that spot, but there's three of them, three big ones right there. I... Somebody needs to pay more attention to what they're doing in that factory. I've not had this issue from Huacan before with the puckering. This is the first. First time for everything. Uh, okay. All right. Here we go. So you can see the beautiful colors. This is uh, upside down. Yes. So here's the left side of it, the trees, and here's the lake down here. So you can actually see what this is. But this side of the canvas looks good. Let's see if I can just place it back down properly. I just kind of, I try to, a little bit at a time, pull the paper that I'm putting down towards the, just kind of tug on it just a little bit at an angle so that it will reach the edge when placing it. I mean, I still didn't do a perfect job, but that's the best I'm going to be able to get. All right. Okay, let's look at Well, I know that there's the puckers down at the bottom, so let's just uh replace this top half flat. I've just maybe it's because I've ordered so many that I'm running into so many problems. I don't know if I've gotten any Yeah, I've had a couple that I haven't had issues with. But ugh, this video is already 40 minutes long. Uh, 
I'm going to get my X-Acto knife. I'm going to do my thing. I'm just going to do the angles on this one. Where you don't press too hard, but you're cutting the bubble. But I'm going to go in both directions. Since the it needs to actually be cut free in order to be able to relax and stretch that part of the canvas. What sucks is that there's three of them in one spot. So I can't just lay it down. I could just do one at a time, lay it down, let it let it heal. This one's not too bad. It's pretty tiny. But you don't want to push too hard because you'll cut through the canvas. And if you're going to cut your pucker, you're going to want to cut it in one direction. This one's really long. When you go in the other direction, you're going to want to be very careful because the glue is going to try and pull with it like it did just, just, just happened right there. So I'm just going to kind of poke it with the tip of it to release the uh, tension. that's still holding it together. I mean, you could go straight down, but I never have any good luck cutting a straight line on these. I don't know why. So that might be something you wanna do instead of doing the slashes. Okay, so let me pull this. This is, see, this is something where I wish Stephanie was in here, she could help me. Um, because you, you kind of need three hands. You need to pull on it, pull on the canvas while you're placing this back down. So pulling, and then place it down. Let's see, where's the other one right here? So this one's not, this one's a small one, so. Okay, and then this one doesn't reach on this side. So this last one, place it down all the way up until the pucker. And now I'm gonna pull on the pucker, <laughs> well the canvas, to stretch that the canvas that's underneath the pucker to its original flatness. And then place the cover back down. You can kind of see where the divot is right here. On the back, it's a lot smoother. This one over here is not smoother, so I don't know. I might have to revisit it. Well, it's going down in, the, the actual canvas is going down into the crease, but I still don't like that it's there. I bet you after you cut it, if you got an iron and, and ironed those spots, that it would flatten. All right, so that's enough for this canvas. I mean, if I'm gonna pay $7, I mean, these ones were a little more expensive, but if I'm gonna pay $7 for a canvas and it's gonna come wrinkled or whatnot, I'm not gonna complain. I'm going to fix it if it's fixable oh. okay it shows that I'm still recording okay I'm not sure where my camera cut off um, I lost my beaming program for a moment there but um, yeah if I can if, if it's a cheap inexpensive canvas and it has slight issues I'm not gonna complain if I can fix it because, yeah, sometimes you just can't beat the price. All right, here is the third one. Yeah. I mean, $7, that's what, you know, we pay more than that to get lunch if we're out in town. And that's gone. This is something that I'm going to have an item for, and it will last me 
a lot, many, many hours of entertainment. So that's just me. I mean, you're more than welcome to do what you feel is necessary on your um, project if you have an issue with it. I'm just saying for me, if I pay $7 on a really good price on something and I can fix it, I will. If I can't fix it, of course, I'm going to, you know, ask for a little bit of assistance. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I did have a Disney uh, Minnie Mouse uh, diamond painting that I opened a few videos back and I couldn't read the canvas. All the guy did was he sent me the, he sent me a JPEG of the canvas and with all the symbols on it so that I can refer to it. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I don't know if I'm going to print it out, put it over on top and put more adhesive on it. You know, I don't know. I doubt it. I'll probably just refer to it if I can't read a symbol or something. I'm not exactly happy with that. I would have preferred a better uh, canvas, but apparently there is no better canvas. They this happened to somebody else. Somebody else had um, said something about it. That they did that same thing to them. So, okay, this has, uh, there's going to be two in here. Again, there are two uh, non can drill pins. And we have a black hair inside. That's on the inside. It's not on the out. That is kind of gnarly. Ugh, okay. So let's see what these are. All right, these are two customs I ordered. And now, oh, they're putting the bracelets in again. Here's another fish. Except I didn't get one in the first one. Just those, these last two. Okay. That's my drill. Let me flip to the right page. See if I can find it. It should have been fast. Oh, here we go. All right. Let me just make sure these match the 2739. This is for 2739, 50 by 50. 50 colors. Wow. All right. And then 50 by 50 round. Oh, they're both rounds. Huh. I did more rounds. Uh, 2740. Okay. These are both Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell um, diamond paintings. This first one I paid seven dollars and fifty-two cents for fifty by fifty. It has, like I said, fifty colors in this one. Ordered it August twenty-seventh, shipped August thirty-first, and I received it September eleventh. No. Gosh. Did I? No. This one came the thirteenth. September 13th, which, yeah, so that's a couple days later. So that's 4 plus 13. is 17 days. Alright. And 50 colors. This is what it looks like. I love the intricacy of the design in the background. It's just a silhouette of Tinkerbell and the castle. I'm guessing that not castle but big i think that's big ben in england london for you people in the uk that know this please correct me if i'm wrong i'm guessing here okay let's try and get this open I believe this is my last order from Hua Can that I have coming. It's just, I can't believe that one took so long to get here. And it's the one I was waiting for so that I could continue with my custom of my mom and my sister. Oh boy, here we go. Alright. 
I, I'm really sorry. I didn't expect this video to be this long. But I might, I might just split it into two, two parts because I just like to have be thorough about what I'm seeing and let you guys know what I'm getting, how I, how it's coming to me, and this, see this is another one where you're not gonna be able to see the color through it because it is a round. And the only color you'll see is in between the drills. So I hooked the curl, the other curl with the foam pad underneath my table. So it's going to hold it down instead of my arms getting in the way while we look at this. So I'll show you the drill field uh, when I'm on the other half. That way I can keep this from getting in the way. Let's see what I'm noticing with the seam. The seam looks okay so far. Now, I hope you can see what I'm seeing. Actually, you, yeah, you can see it. You can see the silhouette of the clock tower there. I'm gonna call it Big Ben and until somebody sets me straight on it, whether I'm wrong or right. I don't like to be wrong about something and continue referring to something as something else if it's not what it is. Especially when I'm not, especially when I'm unsure. And silhouettes are a little hard to, see this is pretty. I really like this, these pinks and stuff over here for the, uh, the bottom of the tower. It's all pink. And then the flowers. It's, I just loved the colors. I, I like Tinkerbell. If you noticed, you know, I've gotten quite a few Tinkerbell paintings. Um, because she's a fairy, you know, and I'm, I really like the fairy theme. Now this seam seems to be buckling a little bit in here. As long as I'm careful and, and press it down first. I think it'll be okay. Oh. Yeah, just pressing it down a bit here. There. Should be okay. Alright, but the rest of the seams look good. There's a, the tiniest of gap right in this one. I don't, like I said, I don't get round, full rounds very often. So I'm not sure if this is occurs with every company with the, the plain white symbols. I'm going to have to pay attention to that on my next one that I have that's round. This is the one that had the gap. Well, it doesn't seem to be apparent here. Okay, let me open up the other side and then I'll show you the drill filled. The 50 by 50s are just a little bit harder for me to manage because of that extra 10 centimeters going this way towards me. All right, let me pull this down and then I'll show you. Now I can show you the drill fill. It's just like the other ones. It's clear. It's just black and white. With the background color. Oh, heavens! Come on, lay flat. Ugh. All right. 
I'm going to I'm going to flatten this so I don't have to worry about it sticking to my table again. good. Just do one at a time to save some heart attacks from happening from me. Two more and then this one's done. I do see that they cut the canvas right here, which it's no big deal. It's just on the outside, but it might be an issue if depending on how this gets framed one of these days I'm just gonna spend a whole day doing framing because I have a lot to, that needs to be framed I have a lot of frames to frame them with it's just I have other things that I have to do I'm spending way too much time on Facebook and YouTube answering you know, reading comments. I mean, because I, I like I liked seeing what everyone's showing me and, and posting. I just, I think I need a little bit of help uh, managing the Facebook group. Because at this point, I'm, I'm doing it by myself. And I did have a couple people helping me at one point. But um, that is no longer the case right now. Okay, so this one uh, also has 50 colors. It is another Tinkerbell. And it is the last one from Hua Can, and this is what it looks like. I paid $7.52 for this one as well. And what I'm hoping is that all these these symbols and stuff are gonna show up. Um, again, August 27th, it came September 13th. It's a full round and 50 colors. So let's take a look at it. Let me write that down real quick. 9.13. Did you need something? Okay, after I'm done with this one, I will be done with this video. All right. show you this is all the tape from these and they're very yellow I, I'm guessing that it's not from being old it's just that they use yellow tape uh, with some a yellow tint or something maybe so we can see where it's at but well you can't really see the yellow in the camera that's weird or you can kind of see it it kind of looks like it's dingy old stuff but it's very very strong tape I wouldn't mind having a roll of it myself but now that I'm done with these, I can get rid of them. Yep, and there was another little piece on there. Okay, same thing with this one. I'm going to tuck it underneath so that I can unroll it a lot easier. Yeah, and let's see if there's any kind of puckering going on here. This, The edges on this one are a little bit wrinkled, damaged from the shipment. I'm just so happy I got my drills sent from... Uh, My, for my custom that I was missing. Well, yeah, this is a lot of white in it. It's going to have 8,600, 8, it needs 8,600 of the uh, 3865. Yeah. But that is the largest number. The others, there's like 1,500 and 1,600 of a color, but there's a lot of variety in this glues and got some yellows going on too because of Tinkerbell being the blondie that she is and the little stars and her skin is kind of a yellowish orange. Ah, uh, no, ah, hand stuck. This happens because 
it's it gets overlapped second time this has happened to me I need to just pull them back a little slower you can actually see Tinkerbell here right, let me pull it up so you can see so you can actually see her face I like this one because um, because the background is white you're you're not getting the color of the painting isn't obscured because that's the actual color that this painting needs I still can't tell if these symbols are gonna show or not because of the fact that there's no color inside the circles I I'm, I can't tell if the detail is gonna be there or not I really hope so because I didn't I, I'm trying not to get giant ones and 50 by 50 is the biggest I was willing to go because yeah, see, this one's overlapped as well. Yep, it's starting to rip. Let me pull this one back. And it pulled up the glue. Oh, gosh. Doctor! I need the canvas, doctor. Great. This I'm not happy about right here. Because the glue folded in on itself. I mean, there's plenty of stick in that one spot at the edge. Right? That one symbol, but this shouldn't be happening. Ashley, I really feel for you if you watch my videos still. Um... I know what you're talking about now. This right here. Yep, I have to go all the way down to the bottom one because it's overlapped as well. So it's the one that's on top. So let's pull that one back. And then go with this one. But you can see it looks like the yeah, that's the, the glue is on top of you. I'm going to take a picture of this. So I'm going to stop this video so I can get my camera. And then I'll be right back. Okay, so I got my pictures. And I don't... I'm not going to pull this back. Um, this... Because... I'm just afraid I'm going to end up ripping the cover underneath it. I'm going to send them a message. Show them these pictures. And see what they say. I've ordered so many, I have ordered so much product for them. I've done, um, um, videos for them for one of their other stores. They should not have an issue replacing one canvas. I've never asked that of them out of the many 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 that I have bought from them I can't even I I probably say I've probably ordered about 50 over the last few months from who can between customs and uh, regular so I'm not even gonna open the rest of this well I'm going to just so I can get it flattened but that's about it and I'm I'm not I'm not even going to do any more review or first my first impression of this canvas is not good. That I mean I love the image. I love the detail of Tinkerbell. I I do not like the placement of the the glue. I'm not happy with it. It's gotten yeah see I just pulled it up and that's the extra the end part of it so I shouldn't have pulled that piece up I should have been paying attention uh, so that's it for this video guys um, I hope you enjoyed it I'm sorry it was longer than I thought but 
that is two less videos that I thought I was going to need to do today because three of these were from the same company. I just don't like doing several videos of one company when I have them sitting in front of me. I could have just done them all at once because that's basically the first impression of the company itself and the painting that they sent me or the paintings. I mean, these were done different days, granted. So it could have been the worker that worked on it. That's the one thing about them not having an inventory sheet is they don't have the quality control mark on it. Well, actually they do on the bags, but who's to say, I don't know, maybe they know what they're doing. Maybe the person who does the bag bagging also did the canvas. I doubt that because I've seen how they do their canvases and the bead station is not in the same spot as the printer for the canvas, but maybe the glue placement is at the same spot. I don't know. I'd actually have to take a full tour. I've seen pictures of different parts of the Hula Can um, operations um, building, but not where everything is related to, say, the weighing of their diamonds. But they have quality, they have a, a inspector numbers on the, I don't know if that's what these are, the inspector numbers, but there's an 11 on this one, a 5 on this one, there's a 19 on that one, 12, and this is another 5, and another 5. And these two came together, so I'm thinking they might be inspector numbers. I don't know. But I'm going to keep these in the packages that they came in, in case they have question about it. And that's that's all she is. But um, five out of six of these are round, and I only have one of them that's square. I don't know if that's... I like doing the rounds once in a while, but I think... Who can rounds? I don't know if I want to do who can rounds just because of the fact that it's so light the way they do their, their canvases when it's a round. I, I just, I'll have to actually work on one before I can give it a full review. So don't take this as a 100% review whether or not I like this company because you know I, I do like who can. Um, I've got, I've ordered from them many times, but um, they do have issues that need to be resolved, I do believe especially the placement of the glue. That is my biggest issue. Um, the One of the reasons I went and ordered so, quite a few rounds is because of the fact that of my custom that I have with the squares being too big. And I was trying to get away from that and hope that going with the rounds, I won't have that issue. So I'll see when I actually go to do one of these if if they have an issue with rounds being too large as well. But the uh, end result is what, what you make of it. <laughs> I mean, I'm still not sure until I finish the painting on how I feel. Uh, will I order again from Hua Can? Mm, I think I'm going to wait until I actually finish one of these rounds. I have other rounds from them as well that I want to try out. I want to try out one of them before I place another who can order. I'm probably not going to be ordering from any of the companies that I normally order from anytime soon unless there is a sale and I'm I'm certain that I've finished one of their paintings and I like it. But for now, I'm, I'm trying out different companies so that I can show you guys what is out there and um, find something new that is good that we weren't aware of because maybe they're new or they're they're just small and they have they don't have the coverage like these other big companies do so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up my normal spiel you know if you don't subscribe please subscribe if you like to see my videos click the bell if you want to be notified of when I post a new video and again have a good time doing your diamond painting have fun doing it because that's what it's all about is having fun doing the hobby that you're very obsessed with. And if you're not obsessed with it yet, you will be. Be warned. So I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.